Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. So let us continue with our lesson over here. And the next step what we want to do over here is we want to make use of the cell route over here or the stateful cell route, which will help us to make use of the uh, the button navigation that we have over here using the go router over here. So for that, let's go back to our uh, app router over here and let's try to add our stateful cell route so st8 is stateful cell route and i'll make use of the index tag because we need to make use of the index over here and uh, let's just go and have this one so this branch just takes the uh, list over here so this will take a list and if you take this one over here and takes the list of the stateful cell branch over here just pass in the type over here and I guess that should okay. So why it is copying that one? I need to grab this one, which is of the type is of the stateful, and pass it over here. And this particular now we can make use of the uh, st8 stateful cell branch over here. So stateful cell branch, and uh, here uh, let us go and make use of our uh, route over here. So it need to pass in the routes and you you are familiar with the go router uh, the type over here right and if you see this is the uh, so let's so and see it requires a route base so here we need to pass in the route base over here and now for the list of the first screen that we want to pass in each the of the home screen over here and then next uh, let's just go and grab this one from here right so i can also pass the uh, let's say a name as the home route over here and just grab this one from here and uh, let's paste it below over here so i'll just go and name this one as the um bottm button tab dash one so this will be of our uh, button tab one and this should be of the uh, bottom tab 2 over here and this will be of the uh, pro duct product that is what we have over here this is a product right and this will be of the pro product uh, product route name over here and this will be of the pro duct product screen and then we should have a third one that is of the shop right so just copy this and paste it inside the stateful cell uh, branch over here and this will be of the uh, shop shop i guess and this will be of the uh, shop route name and shop shop screen over here and then finally we have the fourth one which is of the uh, setting over here let's go and paste it over here this will be of the setting setting and this will be of set it and just setting the route name and this will be of a setting screen s e uh, s e t t and just setting screen over here and make sure that you have that correctly configured over here and uh, we don't need to have this forward slash over here since this is will be of our route and currently we don't have the sub route okay so for the product we need to configure the sub route over here uh, so i'll just cut this section from here and i need to replace this one over here because this is what we have previously make used of so the product route product has the sub route of the 
product details so we can configure the same way over here and next uh, over here we want to configure our we have already configured the branches we need to configure the builder as well over here so builder and here we need to provide the builder so for builder i guess we will make use of the main screen over here and in the main screen currently we don't have the button navigation so i guess where is that button navigation it may be on the home screen so in the home screen we actually have the button navigation over here so um this is the one that we have to pass in the button navigation that is what we have over here so we need to fix this one actually over here so let's try to see how we can configure this one over here and i guess let's try to create one uh, screen over here i'll just um it's quite confusing over here that's why i'll, I'll try to create a new one the let's say um, uh d-a-s-h-b-o-a-r-d dashboard and let's add the new screen over here that will be of the d-a-s-h-b-o-a-r-d dashboard uh, str is screen dot the dot file let's create the uh, as class of the d-a-s-h uh, dashboard uh, dashboard screen and i'll make use of the state list over here and let's import our material package over here and here we need to override the uh, the build method over here right so build method and that should be fine and here in the top we need to require some prompts over here so i need a final stateful uh, stat stateful the navigation uh, cell i guess this is the one that we need and if you go back to the app route this is what we require so we need to pass in stateful navigation cell so this is what we require uh, let's go back to dashboard and i require this one from here uh, sorry for that one so this will be of the stateful let's just copy this one and let's make it as the stateful um, the or i can just copy the navigation cell directly from here and pass it over here and let's pass this one as the uh, required field for this one this dot the navigation shell and i can just go and uh, return from here our uh, the dash board screen over here and i'll just have to pass in the navigation shell over here let's go to the now over here and here we need to uh, return our uh, scaffold right so we'll return the scaffold and now in the body i have to return this particular navigation cell right so this is a stateful navigation cell that i have to return as a body and in the um, bottom navigation bar uh, we have to return our bottom navigation bar i guess we already have uh, set that one over here so i'll just copy this section from here the bottom navigation part and i'll just go back to our dashboard over here and i'll paste it over here and uh, let's try to make this one as a constant remove all of the warning and now in the current index what i can do is i can grab from the navigation cell and i can just make use of the dot the current index over here and on selected on on item so let's just make use of the on item uh tap tab over here so let's create this particular function and let's make use of that one so here i'll just go and say the uh, void on uh, on item 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 tab tab over here i require the ind index and uh, that will be of the type will be of the int and uh, here and that should be fine so i i need on item tab okay so this should be of the uh, the private function I need to make this one as the same okay so that should be fine so on tab and here what we have to do is we need to uh, navigate to that particular screen so once we click on the tab we want to navigate to that particular screen so for that what we can do is let's go and say that the the navigations uh, navi navigation cell that we have dot it has the option to get the current index now it should be go branch over here 
So using this go branch, uh, this method, you can read the documentation. Uh, this method will switch the current active branch, right? If the branch, so this is the method that we want to switch our branch. So currently we have the four branch, the home, product, shop, and the setting. So this is, will help us to switch the branch over here. And it also takes the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the optional argument. That will be of the, uh, if you go over here, that will be of the initial location. So if I go, and this requires a true and false. So initial location is of the true or false. It takes the Boolean. Uh, so let's just go and say, if the index uh, that we are passing, each of equals to, it's the same as the navigation, not this one, uh, uh, a navigation cell dot the uh, current index. So later we'll see practically how this one works over here. And I guess that should be uh, correct over here. So let's try to fix all of this error that we have over here. And uh, we have the dashboard ready. So let's go back to our uh, this particular screen, which is of the dashboard screen that we are returning from the stateful cell route from the builder. And in the home screen, I guess we should not be using this particular home screen because it already has this particular um, body and then the tab. So let's go to the main screen over here and maybe we can make use of this main screen over here. We will not use the home screen because it has the bottom navigation and these tabs and all of this information. So that is not what we are looking for currently. And uh, but let's try to remove this bottom navigation from here. So let's try to remove this button navigation. Let's remove this function from here as well. And um, I guess we also don't require all of this for now. So let's try to remove the on tab from here as well. And let's try to remove this one as well. And is there anything else that we have to remove? So we have some errors. Let's try to remove this one as well. And let's make this one as the um, const over here. So we, okay, so I need to make this one as the const over here and let's remove this one. Okay, so we have some error and the only static field. So this one should be static actually, not the const over here. So I guess we'll just, just keep it as it is for now. I don't want to confuse you with, with the static and all of the stuff. And I, I think that should be fine. Let's go over here. And we are going to dashboard screen that has the bottom navigation and it holds the navigation cell. And if we go back here, our navigation, um, the cell, a stateful cell branch is of this one. We have the home. So that will load the home, uh, home page for us this page as well and that should be cool so that's let's try to run our app let's try to see if we have some error so here we have some error over here and then the uh, route path the label must start with this one for the sub and okay so we need to start with this one so if you go for the sub and let's try to fix that one let's go and see where is that particular sub over here and I guess we also have somewhere over here. So let's remove this uh, duplicate route from here. And that may cause the error for us. And we also don't want to have this one over here. And uh, that should be the one. And we have this. And uh, we have this shop. Uh, let's make this one as the shop. And let's this make this one as a setting. And let's try to see if this is working over here. And now if we go back and try to rerun the application. Okay, so we are on the login screen now. And let's go to the uh, login from here. And we got some error. And that is unknown route main. So let's go to the login screen. And here we are going to the, uh, the main. But we need to actually go to our log we need to go to this particular home home screen over here so we need to go to our path each of this one and home route name so let's try to go from here the uh, home 
of the route name so let's try to see if that is working over here and now that's fine so now we are on the home route and I can okay so I cannot switch this one so here is some error and let us try to see what went wrong over here index is greater than equals to zero index is less than the route of the branches so that may be the branches issue over here so let's go to our app route over here and let's see the branches over here so in the branches we have stateful uh, cell branch over here and okay so that is the issue so we only, we only have one stateful cell branch we actually need to have the four stateful cell branch over here i'm sorry for that one i have configured all of this over here it should be separate for each of this particular tab over here stateful cell stateful cell branch should be configured for each of this tab over here so let's try to configure this one so let's go and create the stateful uh, cell branch over here and we need to provide the routes and let's try to go and configure this one over here and we require the four over here and this will be of the i guess this in type is of the route base over here so r-o-u-t route uh, base over here and let's try to configure this one over here as well so we require the four tabs so uh, we need to have this one for the four tabs as well so this is of the one two three and then the four and uh, then what we have this bottom tab uh, one right so this will be of the top one so this is the tab one this will be of the tab uh, two over here this will be of the uh, tab three over here and uh, this will be of the tab uh, four over here so what i will do is i'll just go and cut this uh, this section the top one and i need to paste it over here right and the next one will be of our product so let's just go and cut this section from here and let's go and paste it on to the second tab over here and uh, then we have the uh, third one that will be of the uh, shop over here so just cut this section from here and uh, paste it over here this is the third tab and this should be of the fourth tab over here so sorry for the previous mistake that i have done over here and if i try to rerun my application i'll go to the login screen from here and i should be able to tap over here so that's cool now right so here 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 and we can navigate over here the only thing is that the the bottom the top app bar is missing so if you go to the uh product screen i guess where is that the product screen and uh, this doesn't have the app bar so that is the issue so you can just go and add the uh app bar over here and just add a simple app bar with the title of the um let's see product over here so you can see that we got that and you should have the shop as well so you can just go and copy this one from here and go to the shop screen and return that one from here and this will be of the shop shop over here as well and then we have the the uh, settings screen this will be of the set and the setting over here let's try to reload our application and here we go and we have the um all of the tab working perfectly fine using the cell route from the uh, the uh, go router over here so stateful cell branch and then the stateful cell route so make sure you configure the stateful cell branch for each of your tab previously i made a mistake configuring only one and putting all of the route inside that one that was my mistake sorry for that and uh, i hope you got the uh, point over here so we need to create this stateful cell branch for each of our uh, bottom tab over here and our this particular tab is also working fine and we also have this particular drawer working and you can add the navigation so context.go or context.push depending on requirement for this particular drawer navigation itself and here in the home screen i guess we have to fix a small thing over here because in the home screen uh, we are making use of the tab over here and uh, but here we have all of those things i guess we are not 
making use of this screen so let's go to the uh, main screen from here and let's go to the app route if we are navigating to that particular route home we are making use of the home but we are not making use of the uh, main screen over here this is the main screen over here uh, this is what we have over here I guess we should make use of uh, this one so uh, if I go to the um, if I go to the uh, route over here this is of the uh, home route right and we are we have a home screen over here and in the home screen we have this all of these tabs so let's try to remove and configure all of this from here so we'll go back to our main screen and what I will try to do is I'll try to configure all of this. So let's just grab this information from here and let's go back to our home screen over here. And what I need is I'll just try to just go and remove all of this from here. So let's try to remove all of this from here and I'll try to import this particular package over here. So let's try to import all of this package and uh, here let's just make this one as the const i guess and we have some uh, error over here so this one should also be of the const over here and this one should also be of the const and okay so i can't make this one as a const over this unst const over here okay so what went wrong over here sorry for that and uh, let's see what went wrong over here so this should the warning should be the private field tab can be of the final so let's just make this one as the final list of this one and i can remove this one from here and remove this one from here and that should be fine and uh, once we have that uh, let's try to go down over here in the body so we don't have to return this one from here like in our uh, main screen what we have done over here is we will return this one from here let's go and return it from here and we also need to have the app bar so if you go to the main screen and we have this particular app bar from here so just copy this one from here and let's go to the app bar over here and in the app bar let's add the uh, title for this one over here t-i-t-l-e title over here and okay so we have the title already over here sorry for that and then the title uh, we have the app bar and uh, in the title app bar we have this particular controller so let's just make this one as a cons so we can clear all of the warnings so let's just go in make all of this as a const and let's try to clear all of those uh, warning messages so we can have a much more clear view over here and let's replace this one as the const as well and this one should be also of the const and here as a const and this one also as the const over here and now uh, we should have a better view so let's just remove all of this unused import from here and we also need to have a vsync so if you go to the main screen we have with the single ticker provider mixing so we need this one as well so let's import this one over here and that should be good enough so i guess the main screen is not required for now i can remove this one if i go to the app route there is some error so let's try to remove that one as well from here and let's try to reload this application and now let's try to log in and yeah that's working perfectly fine so it is working as expected and uh, okay so this one should be below here so what you can do is use <laughs> this one you can see that this is of the tab uh, i guess it should be below of this one so let's go to our uh, home screen over here and let's configure uh, the, the tab bar title and then we should have the uh, after the title and uh, I should have the uh, bottom so let's just go and add the bottom over here and in the bottom I'll just go and add this particular app bar and title will be of the uh, const of the uh, text and let's say this is of the home for now 
and let's uh, move this button below over here and let's just have this one over here let's just add the comma over here and then i guess uh, we have uh, some error let's try to fix this and let's try to rerun and let's log in and now we are good to go so now it looks better right so we have this two button uh, top tab and button tab as well over here and that's looking cool over here and uh, i think we are good to go and uh, if you are wondering why we don't have the uh, the menu over here for the drawer because we have one um, the app bar for each of our screen that's why we can't see that one so i'll give you as a homework for this one to configure this particular the uh, drawer menu for all of this particular the screen or the tab that you have now what you can do i'll give you some hint is to create a reusable component for this particular uh, the drawer create a reusable drawer over here and or create a reusable app bar itself and you can con uh, configure that one or you can create a reusable drawer as well over here and add that one to all of this screen you can uh, implement in your own logic and try to have this configured for yourself so let's meet up in the next one till then have a great day